We put this slideshow together to provide a glimpse into the failures of elevated decks in our area. It seems it has reached epidemic proportions, and strangely enough, it's occurring most commonly with the newer homes. Now, there are so many reasons why balconies fail, but the most common visual clue is the leaching of efflorescence or the ponding of water on the balcony surface. Since leaching is a common sight, some may think it's not serious, but here's what's going on under the surface. It's really quite dramatic. 95% of all failures are due to water intrusion from poor construction techniques. Water usually intrudes due to the lack of a proper waterproofing membrane and drainage plane. Early warning signs can show on the exterior or interior. The most common indicators and probable causes are for water intrusion. This will most likely indicate an improper slope or an uneven surface, failure of the sealant or waterproofing membrane or the lack thereof. Or also very common, we see multiple penetrations of the membrane for the installation of balustrades or rail posts. Inside, look for signs of drywall bubbling, trim board separations, etc. Sometimes could be mistaken for a window leak. Outside, look for dark colored leaching, which is caused by moisture moving underneath the deck topping, carrying minerals through the path of least resistance, either over the edge or up through the grout of a stone or tile topping. Water may also travel behind the wall system if the drainage plane is dammed, and you may notice stucco blistering as it's delaminating from the substrate. Concrete rust stains, cracks, and spalls usually means moisture has penetrated the slab, causing corrosion of the reinforcing steel. When steel corrodes, it expands and blows out the concrete. Structural failure is probable in a short time period. Learn to spot the warning signs and share this video with your friends and associates. We share our best practices and techniques with local home builders and architects in an effort to encourage increases in construction budgets in this area to provide sufficient protection. It is more expensive up front, but it's come down to either paying now or later for builders, insurance companies, and most costly for the homeowner. If you're interested in learning the process in which we remediate failed decks, please watch our videos on epoxy deck sloping and the Kemper waterproofing membrane. Our waterproofing mechanics apply proven techniques using the best products in the world. Thank you for watching and please call us here at the Aerial Companies for your home maintenance or restoration needs.